Hey girlies, your girl is back and today I'm showing you guys these tape-ins that I installed on myself from Curls Queen Hair. I wanted to quickly show you guys a close-up of the tape-ins and basically the motion of what I'm going to be doing in this video. So it's going to be pretty repetitive, but basically what I'm doing is just taking a section of my hair and then I'm going to sandwich the tape-ins in between my hair. So I'm gonna have one tape in underneath, one tape in above, and then I'm gonna press it together. And this is basically the look that you're going for. Something that's really easy, flexible to throw up, and it's not going to hurt you. So to save some time, I went ahead and pressed out my hair and I washed it and all that good stuff. And what I'm doing right now is just sectioning my hair off. This is personal preference, but I do recommend you leaving enough hair out so you can be super versatile with tape ins. That's the fun part about tape ins. You can throw your hair up in ponytails, buns, you could do a flip over method, all that good stuff stuff so try to make sure you leave a good enough amount of hair out that is going to look natural though so it can blend well with your tape ins now that we completed the leave out around the perimeter i'm just sectioning off my hair just one straight line towards the bottom half trying to make this part as straight as possible and then what we're going to do is just take a smaller piece from this section that i'm parting and I'm gonna start working on the left side of my head. So it's gonna be a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm taking a small piece of hair. I don't want it too thick, but I don't want it too thin. I'm going to take a tape in and place it underneath that section of hair that I grabbed and place another tape in right on top with my hair in between. And I'm gonna sandwich these pieces together. So you wanna make sure it is comfortable for you, whether it's comfortable in a like horizontal line that's fine or if you need to kind of like tilt your tape in so it can have some type of slant to it so you can comfortably put your hair up in a ponytail do so so as you can see i'm not placing the tape in too close to the perimeter of my hairline i started towards the back half and this is a comfortable placement for myself now i'm going to start with the second tape in and you don't want it too close to the first tape in that you install so make sure you have like a pinky length of space or even like any finger and try to have that much space in between your tape in so they're not overlapping and what this does is prevent you from having like bulk also prevent your tape ins from like stabbing you in the scalp or just feeling super uncomfortable and as you can see the hair did come in a natural wave it's so pretty you guys but because i wanted to press my hair out i wanted to go ahead and press the tape ins out so you guys can see how flawless they do straighten and because I'm working with a silkier texture that does have a natural wave, I felt like it would be easier to blend with my hair since my hair is curly and then I'm pressing it out to become a straighter form. So yeah, it blend pretty well. Color match was pretty spot on with my actual hair color. So I was so happy that I didn't feel the need to dye these tape ends black because that's a whole nother process. But here's an up close and personal little clip of the tape in so you guys can see the quality. I really do love the quality of these tape ins. They're super beginner friendly. If you make an error, you can honestly remove these tape ins without, you know, feeling like you're pulling out your hair and you can place them in the right spot. You want to also make sure you're lining your tape ins up and you don't want to have any like tape showing so it's grabbing at your hair that's not going to be good because that's going to cause tension and pulling of your hair so make sure you're actually lining your tape ins up you know sandwiching them together completely and making sure you know it's giving flawless All right, so I wanted to give you guys a tea about how many bundles I used for this install and what it was giving. I received three bundles and I used two for this initial install that you're going to be seeing me in this blue shirt. And later on that week, I actually removed a few of the tape ends just to see if I wanted it to be a more natural looking install if i didn't want that many if i wanted to go for something that just gave length and a little bit of density but i definitely recommend you guys getting three bundles especially if you're trying to be as versatile as possible with your tape ins you can add more you can add less or you know you just definitely need two but you might need a little bit more so having three is making sure you have enough and you'll rather be safe than sorry so i will link all of curls queen's information in the description box below so you guys can check out all the deets don't feel like you need to get a silkier texture if this is not your thing if you're not a girl that likes to press her hair out trust me i understand you have options you have curlier hair options you have a lo looser curly you have a tighter curly on their website so once again i will link all of their information down below so you guys can check it out Never draw the line with 
So as you can see, the tapings are coming together. The install looks super flat when I'm putting it up in a ponytail. And this is always something I just gag over every time I'm doing tapings on myself because it just looks so good, you guys. I do want to mention that I used a hot comb later on after I had got off the camera just to make sure my hair was pressed, pressed out. And I feel like that hot comb helps you prevent, well, helps to prevent having to use your flat iron every single day i just wanted to add a clip right here so you guys can see what i mean this is what it looks like after hot combing my hair so if you have a hot comb pull it out especially if you are going for tape ins that have a silkier texture and you don't want to have a lot of heat applications on a daily the hot comb definitely works so all right so this was what it was looking like for the initial install and I was very pleased on how I was able to put my hair in a side part I was able to throw my hair up in a ponytail I was able to do a middle part and all that good stuff and the density was really really nice so I'm going to just press the hair out but you guys going to see it this day I took some tape ins out so the hair does look a little bit thinner but I am going to show you guys what it looks like with all of the three bundles of tape ins that I actually received from Curls Queen. I just wanted to play with the style and I wanted to see what it would look like if I used less tape ins this day. I wanted to show you guys how much hair I left out. You know, if you are more this type of style girl when it comes to tape ins, you just want the tape ins for length and maybe a little extra density, but you don't want to have like a whole head of tape ins towards the top part of your head. And that's okay because it looks really nice like this too, in my opinion, especially if you're more so trying to do this for updos, like pinup styles and things of that sort. Because as you can see, the ponytail looks full. It looks as natural as it can get. And I'm so here for it. So I loved it this day, but I wanted to play around with the different types of ways that I can rock my tape in. So that's basically what I did this day. So your girl is back and I just wanted to quickly share with you guys, you know, what's going on and how I feel about these tape from Curl Queen because, you know, I'm back and I'm better. I did add some more tape in, okay? It's a little bit more fuller. I want to show you guys some clips in a different angle, but I use more of the third bundle. I told you guys I got three bundles of tape from Curl Queen. Shout out to them. Shout out this texture, you guys. Quality of this hair is beautiful and I'm so here for it. So I do have about all of the third bundle in. I have about 18 tape ins left. I counted them. I did this part like 15 times, so that's how I know I have 18 left. I first installed this, I had about two bundles in. I took some of the tape ins out later on in the install and then I had came back on and did like some slow-mos with you. Around that time, I just wanted to do the updo look that I was going for and I really did like it. It would look so cute in my little, you know, pin up team. Right now she's super, super full because I do have about three bundles of tape ins in. Let me show you guys the products that I have been using on this hair this product all by itself this stuff right here from sally's beauty supply store is so bomb.com it's the silk element mega silk olive heat protection spray this stuff right here is for relaxed or natural hair i use it on the weaves and i use it on my natural hair which is what's all pressed out and you know i know y'all scared for me but curls are still popping i have like tried to revert a few of my strands back just to see if you know i just need to take these bad boys out but it's going on the third week you guys and i feel like these tape ins are holding up so freaking bomb this definitely works you guys this right here is the she's bomb waxing stick this stuff right here will get your hair straight pressed out like girl do you see that she is pressed okay she is pressed you know, I want you to also know that the tape-ins are not super heavy duty duct tape tape-ins. This go around when I do remove these tape-ins, I'm going to use alcohol because I noticed that a little alcohol, maybe like mixture concoction with a little bit of water will help seal the deal to remove all the tape-ins. So at first I was scared to, scared to put alcohol on my hair. But I think I'm going to try it out just to see, just to tell you guys my experience. But that's basically how I think I'm going to be removing my tape ins. If you guys know any other solutions, let me know in the comment section. You know that I'm new to this, not true to this, so y'all got to help your girl out. But, girl, she's ponytail swinging right now, okay? I definitely recommend you guys getting three bundles just to be on the safer side. So, 
keep that in the notes if you guys are interested but overall i think you guys should definitely check out curls queens tapings they have so many different textures i plan on sticking to like this type of texture because i don't really want to play around with trying to match my curl pattern to a curly set of hair it ain't gonna work out for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of Curls Queen's information will be linked in the description box below. Let me know how you guys felt about this install and if you have a solution on removing these tapins, let me know in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you all in my next one. Bye y'all.